Hi there, welcome to another exciting episode of Kazi Big Boy Trev. I am Big Boy Trev and today we have something amazing courtesy of Toyota, the legendary Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. Now updated for 2021 with a better engine, good performance and of course plenty of luxury. But first things first, let's take a look at the highlights of today's show. This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, we review the 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado DXL. We analyze its cabin comfort, innovative technologies, engine performance, fuel efficiency and of course give its value for money preposition against its rivals the Ford Everest and the Land Rover Defender. Catch this and much much more on your Cars with Big Boy Trev every Sunday 6.30pm only on KTN Home. So guys, electioneering period is fast approaching. It's a season where politicians kiss babies and try and make sure that they look good on camera. You've made it in life, you're successful in your business, or you've been working in the civil service and you want to represent your people in the National Assembly or even the Senate. But you're looking for a car that will take you to your constituencies, to the machinani. You need a car that is reliable, fast, comfortable, and of course, can handle any sort of terrain. And as you know, Kenya is blessed with plenty of terrain. So to John Kaz, the big boy Trev, we are targeting the politician. If you're looking at probably vying for a seat at some point during the electioneering period, which is the best car for you? So we are introducing to you the revised Toyota Prado Land Cruiser. Now enhanced for 2021 with a bigger engine, more performance and of course plenty of luxury. And of course the most important thing, image. It speaks volumes about you as a person. And not only to the business person or the politician, this is a vehicle that anybody who's looking to get into the 4x4 space and want the full capabilities of the Toyota Land Cruiser family, then this particular Prado is the vehicle for you. I'm going to explain every single aspect of this particular vehicle. And we're going to start by taking a look at the design phase of this particular Prado. This particular update has been improved to enhance the capabilities of this already magnificent product. Remember, this particular Prado generation has been around for close to 10 years, but what Toyota have done is continuously enhance the capabilities of this particular car, including the look, so that it is able to compete with the likes of the Ford Everest and, of course, the Isuzu MUX that are playing in the same category. Now, let's take a look at the design face. Big grill, that is very important. For a car that you require an image as a politician, they need a car that speaks volumes, got presence. So the grill again enhances that. Slated grills, again with the large Toyota logo that represents efficiency, performance, and of course, reliability, which is you need, especially when you're going to machine nanny. Now, as you can see, the trapezoidal lamps as well, again, giving that Janice Sequoia keep on talking about. Of course, you do have full LEDs, and of course, by Xenons as an option for the different derivatives of the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. If you want a very good look premium, what do you do? We had plenty of chrome so Toyota did exactly that so on the grill trapezoidal grill plenty of chrome and extends all the way to the main headlamp again denoting you're right Jane Sequoia now look at the bumpers one edges squared off just to enhance the capabilities of the vehicle especially during off-road uh, season now this particular vehicle has the capacity to have an approach angle of 31 degrees so you can approach a steep hill at 31 degrees and of course the brake over 22 and at the back you can do even 29 degrees Bank over angle for two degrees. Again, we're going to show you later on as we test the torsion differential and the 4x4 capabilities of the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. Again, looking at the design face, fantastic. You can see the fog lights again. A bit of Janice Sequoia right there. Chrome beads just to give this car that premium look and feel. Now, moving over to the side profile, what do you see? Again, an instinct about Toyota. They've managed to create that three box design. Fender, body passenger, and of course, the rear third. That allows this car to have that butch 4x4 look. That's the traditional design of a 4x4 station wagon, which this is. And as you can see from the fender, bulging line. This bulge also denotes performance, presence, and of course, abilities to do 4x4 off-roading. That line extends all the way to the lower hip line that is right below the door seal and enhances all the way to the back where the three-quarter part is. And it denotes that Toyota are thinking about having a subtle but bold design that enables this particular product to stand out 
from the rivals now as you can see again you do have infused side steps it's not the traditional side steps where you just go and after market and you just you know solder on on the door seal no this is infused getting that je ne keep talking about and of course the side step is very important especially during campaign period when you need your bodyguards to protect you you know they just jump there and of course they're able to protect Moshimiya who's right here talking to the Wanainchi and that is something that Toyota thought about in hindsight so again top up all this finish again plenty of chrome as well denoting Jeanne Sequoia so let's move to the back and have a look at the design face of the Toyota Prado again this massive wheel is stuck on the tailgate giving this car good presence especially at the back and of course you do have this cluster uh, tail lamps that signature LED just to give this car that journey is quite night and of course you do have the large Toyota logo that's emblazoned there and the, and the Prado as well denoting that this particular vehicle is fantastic and of course right here you do have the VXL badge which means the top of the range Prado so it's got all the bells and whistles you can ever think of step first to check out those bells and whistles and find out whether the Prado is as comfortable as the name suggests So guys, you've seen from the walk around the design perspective of the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. It's stylish and meets the needs of the 21st century SUV buyer. But the question still remains, how good is the cabin? Has it been enhanced to beat the rivals? We're going to find out right now as we step inside and have a look at the design face. And we start with the quality of the dashboard. So the dashboard has soft touch plastic and of course it's got bits of wood trim and aluminium brushings along the whole stretch of the dashboard to give it that je ne sais quoi keep on talking about on Kazi Big Boy Drive. But the highlight is this massive infotainment system that comes as standard in this Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. And it's something that I do love. Take a look. The sound system is courtesy of JBL Synthesis. Basically, it's 10 speakers with a subwoofer that allows this particular vehicle to reproduce sound notes, bass, treble across the whole cabin in a manner that is sort of like a concert. So you're able to enjoy your different types of music. If you're tech savvy, this particular system also houses the Apple CarPlay system. If you plug in your phone and you have an Apple a phone, you're able to access that and you're able to stream music via Spotify, which is a digital app basically with music up there in the sky you're able to listen to music right here in the vehicle how cool is that and of course with the apple carplay functionality you're able to be practical on the road you're able to read emails send texts book meetings while on the road so basically it enhances your productivity while visiting your people in machinani how cool is that now right below it you do have different functionalities you do have a uh, multitronic climate control system so basically it's a three zone system so the driver passenger have their own settings and of course the rear passengers you're able to toggle through the different settings set the different temperatures to ensure that everybody feels comfortable while in the toyota prado not only that the seats come with heated and cooling functionality so if you're in mombasa and extremely hot you want to cool your back then you just toggle through the setting and you're able to cool down your back courtesy of the perforated leather seats that come as standard in the toyota prado vxl but if you're in nanyuki or limuru whatever is going to be very very cold then you want to warm yourself and feel fuzzy then you crank up the heat on the seats and you're able to remain comfortable while driving the toyota land cruiser Prado. Now moving over to the gearbox console, it reveals this gear shift. It's a gated shift uh, transmission, six-speed automatic. You're able to toggle through the different uh, gears with the sports mode function, which also corresponds with the devil horns, which I'm going to explain much later. It allows you to explore the full potential of the 150 kilowatt or 200 horsepower uh, engine of the 1GD FTV derivative and of course 500 newton meters of torque that will be flowing through the gearbox and of course you have the different modes economy mode basically it adjusts the gear shifts based on how low it can hang on the gear just so you're able to have an efficient drive saving fuel 7.9 kilometers is not too bad for a big car like this and of course you have normal which just corresponds to the driving needs so if you're feeling that you want to press a bit it will adjust accordingly the gear shifts will actually uh, adjust based on your preference and of course sports mode becomes sharper so the gearbox actually responds to your foot so i've jumped into the back and i can tell you i have plenty of space this seat is placed to my position i'm six foot one and as you can see machine has plenty of leg room and headroom despite having this a uh, sunroof protrusion it doesn't intrude too well into the cabin so machine has plenty of headroom now the seats actually support three people but we know machine love only two so you can extract the armrest 
just to give you that comfortable drive as you drive along the traverse and going to see your people in Mashinani. To press that, you do have to cup holders that you're able to drink cool drinks courtesy of this cooler ice box and you're able to extract it back. And of course, you do have six airbags that run across the cabin to ensure that Moshimiwa remains safe during an accident. Now, in case Moshimiwa has babies, you do have seat anchor points for your child seats. You're able to secure the child seat very easily to ensure that they remain safe. Remember, kids under 12, the best place to place them is right here at the back. Make sure they're belted and the seats actually anchored to ensure that they remain safe at any given time. You do have a climate control system the third one that controls different temperatures so the passengers at the back are able to enjoy the machine has his own and of course the other passenger can control even seat heating and cooling so all the benefits of the front side also at the back you're able to adjust that quite easily if you want to charge your device machine can actually charge the device using this 12 volt socket that's supplied right here and of course if they have an ipad or a tablet they're able to put right here on the air style uh, pocket that's right behind the seat now the vents also work as well you're able to control and toggle through you're able to direct the air into your face to ensure that you remain cool calm and collected while any Toyota Land Cruiser VX but it's time for us to move to the back and see the current capacity of the boot space and whether the seven seats that are automatic can actually fit two people or security or even kids let's jump and see what the rear of the Prado is all about So moving over to the back, as I open the tailgate to reveal plenty of space. So as you can see, Tara, you do have with the rear seats down, you do have close to 600 liters of boot space. That is enough to carry close to six air style suitcases, big suitcases. But in Kenyanese terms, this is equivalent of three to four uh, gunias of nyanyas of itungus right here. And you do have fasteners to ensure that the goods don't move around quite easily. You do have plenty of charging ports as you can see. And of course seat belts for the rear seats. But in case you need that extra space, then the seats open automatically like this to reveal two extra seats that two normal size adults can actually fit. So your security people are able to sit at the back to ensure that you remain safe while in the Toyota Land Cruiser VX. Well, that's it. You've seen how practical the cabin of the Toyota Prado is all about. Extremely practical, seven seats, adjustable and flexible to your needs. But next step first, jump behind the wheel and feel the power of the 1GDF TV engine, 200 horsepower, 500 newton meters of torque. I cannot wait to sample that. And then we do some more flooding then give you value for money as to why the Total Land Cruiser is a vehicle for you. Because I'm running for an elective post, I've just come to see my constituents and I can tell you already, they're already attracted by the look of the Toyota Prado VXL. Why? Because it's got presence and that's the whole point. If you're a politician and you want to, you know, bring that attention, to attract attention, perhaps the Toyota Prado VXL is a vehicle for you. Bas, bas, mukini pigia kura nta leta mask na nta wasani itazi nyote. So guys, today I'm sampling the brand new Toyota Prado VXL. It's been enhanced for 2021. Of course, Toyota have tried to improve the product because there's so much competition right now. Of course, with the brand new Defender coming into the market, it's time for them to actually upgrade the vehicle in terms of power, in terms of practicality, in terms of features. And we're going to start this review by taking a look at the power aspect of this particular vehicle. So the brand new addition to this particular vehicle is the 1GD FTV engine. Basically, this particular family has been in existence for some time. So Toyota have been refining it. Remember the 1KD? 
on the previous Prados, it was very powerful and very talky. But now Toyota have actually enhanced it to the 1GD family. So basically, added third generation piezo injectors, you know, variable geometry turbo, and of course, um, Lancaster balancers to ensure that the engine is quite smooth. So, of course, the result is extreme power 150 kilowatts or 200 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque that sounds when you put your foot down like this hi <laughs> it pulls really well and you can even feel the torque from as low as 1750 rpm and that is the beauty of driving a vehicle that's been refined for years and years and toyota is actually very good uh, at developing vehicles for a long time so this particular Prado has been enhanced to ensure that it still delivers good power. It is right at par with the likes of the Toyota Everest, which actually does uh, roughly about 500 Nm of torque again. And of course, many others are in the market. Now, um, power is sent to the four wheels courtesy of either a six-speed automatic, if it's the VXL Auto or the TXL Auto, or a six-speed manual, if it's a TXL uh, derivative now that allows you to explore the full potential of this particular vehicle and gives you very good fuel consumption the automatic uh, gearbox in this one is not a cvt it's a standard automatic and it runs very very smooth there's no jacking it's smooth shifting and on sport mode it hangs on to gears extremely well so that you're able to explore the power of the engine now let's talk about the drivability this particular product is based on a box ladder chassis but it's been enhanced with quite a number of features to ensure that it's still a steady on and off road so basically up front you do have wishbone setup and at the back you do have a multi-link uh, rear suspension with a rigid axle and of course it has air suspension on this vxl derivative now how does it help the stability of the vehicle the vehicle becomes very firm so during sport mode the air suspension notices that you're driving a bit fast so it lowers uh, the center of gravity of the vehicle to ensure that it remains stable and of course um, during off-road uh, conditions it decouples the kdds which basically is active sway bars so that you're able to have maximum wheel articulation i'm going to show you that much much later as i do the off-road section now safety critical element in this particular vehicle safety uh, comes as standard in this particular uh, toyota prado so in terms of active safety you do have the vac vehicle stability control that is an acronym uh, for toyota for electronic stability control and it's an umbrella system that actually controls brake assist brake force distribution and of course traction control but in case all hell breaks loose then you can rely on the six airbags that come to stand in this particular vehicle a five-star passenger safety rating and of course you can rely on the safety belt which is the most important item in your vehicle in terms of safety for kids you do have isofix anchors so that you're able to place any child below 12 at the back to ensure that they have maximum safety while in the toyota land cruiser prado vxl which i do love but that said how capable is this particular car off-road? We're going to venture off-road and see whether the suspension is fantastic, whether the steering wheel allows you to navigate the traverse of Kenya, plus do quite a number of things that we've not seen before, what the Toyota product can do, and then we do value for money. Okay, guys, we've just jumped off the beaten track. It's time for us to sample the 4x4 capabilities of the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. And you remember, the Prado comes from a lineage where 4x4 heritage has been there for over 70 years. They've really upped their game. And in fact, if you go to the most difficult of terrains, be it in Arabia, Africa, Asia, even in the winter areas of Siberia, you probably find a Land Cruiser. So the Prado carries a big burden to shoulder because at the end of the day, this is a 4x4. And Toyota knows how to make a thing or two about Toyota. They know how to build 4x4s. So we are, in, I mean, it's a rainy season and of course the rain has just started. So the area that we're in has plenty of mud. So we have activated 4 high on this particular vehicle so that we have maximum grip. And this is courtesy of the Tosen differential, which I do love because the Tosen differential essentially generates enough traction based on the needs of the vehicle. Now, I'm not on full low because that now controls all the aspects of this particular vehicle, but when you use a tossing differential, it allows you to explore the full potential of the engine and still be able to generate maximum grip at any given time. That is something that I have found very important courtesy of Toyota because they've managed to ensure that the drivability of the Prado is so good and it is enhanced by this 
torsion differential that works extremely extremely well now obviously the suspension um, works extremely well as well this has um, air suspension basically up front so at the highest of points it's got 222 millimeters and of course has a wedding depth of 700 millimeters or 70 centimeters so if you live in Budalangi you don't need to be worried because this particular Prado will be able to take you from point A to B be less stress the car in front of you is a Toyota and there's a reason for that because it is able to you know generate traction you're able to drive through a 4x4 course quite easily and of course makes you an off-road king despite you having the minimal knowledge on how to drive on different parts of the terrain so that gives you a brief summary of what the Prado is all about it is able to give you maximum traction you can go to your shamba you can go to Masabit. you can even try and attempt to do nairobi to johannesburg if you're feeling very brave because africa is a beautiful place and the land cruise allows you to explore the full potential of this particular vehicle so the question remains what is the value for money preposition is it is it something that you probably want to have in your garage you reckon the capabilities supersede the ones of its rivals like the Ford Everest and many others. We're gonna find out right now as you do value for money. So guys, that's it. We've just seen what the revised Prado Land Cruiser is all about. Performance, efficiency, and of course, capabilities to boot, especially off-road. Now the question remains, how capable is it? What is the value for money preposition? We start with the price. Now, there are three derivatives that this particular product comes in. You have the VXL, which is the top of the range. You have the TXL automatic and the TXL manual. Now, for the TXL manual, it costs exactly 11.2 million Kenyan shillings. For the TXL automatic, it costs 12.05 million. And of course, for Moshimiwa, the big one, the VXL, costs 15.4 million Kenyan shillings. It comes with a three year. 100,000 kilometer warranty, whichever comes first. And of course, you can rely on Toyota's extensive network across the country, from Mombasa to Kisumu to Turkana to Nyeri. Wherever you see the Toyota logo, you'll be able to service this particular Toyota Prado. But we all know the Prado exists in a space where there's plenty of competition. Who are the rivals? We go to the UK. We have the brand new Land Rover Defender, and of course, the Land Rover Discovery. Then you do have the Ford Everest, and of course, the Suzu MUX. Then you do have the BMW X5 and the Porsche Cayenne to some extent. Now, do you reckon these rivals are better than this particular vehicle? Send us your thoughts as seen on the social media handles. And we'll get back to you with the feedback next week. But before I leave, how do you catch Kazi Big Butter after the show? Well, immediately after this show, we go straight to YouTube. Uh, our YouTube premiere starts at 7 p.m. You can watch today's show and, of course, catch up with the rest of the reviews you've done. Close to 100 and counting just to give you the best of Kenyan motoring. So, Please click on subscribe and make sure you tune in to Cars of Big Boy Trev every week, every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. on KTN Home and of course on YouTube at 7 p.m. That's it. Thank you so much. Drive safe and be safe.